The Elizabeth Dole Foundation is a national program comprised of military and veteran caregivers who have stepped forward to serve as advocates and spokespeople for the 5.5 million parents, spouses, children, and other loved ones caring for our nation's wounded, ill, and injured warriors. Joining me now is Megan Swanson, a Connecticut fellow for the Elizabeth Dole Foundation. Megan, thanks so much for being here on CT Style. Thank you for having me. Uh, so tell me a little bit about your family and your husband. Um, well, I met my husband in high school. Uh, we dated for about a year, and then he enlisted in the Marines, and I decided I wanted to uh, pursue college. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then he, uh, after his two tours in, in Iraq, he was honorably discharged, and he showed up on my doorstep and said, I came back for you. Oh, he missed you. And, yeah, so <laughs> it, was, uh, it was really great. And, we, uh, and then in 2009, we were married. And, uh, and we have a picture of your whole family up there. Are, it's my husband, Matt, and uh, my older son, Lucas, and uh, that's our youngest, Zeke. That's great. Uh, your husband was diagnosed with a, a couple problems. Yes, uh, mainly uh, traumatic brain injury and PTSD. And you are the main caregiver. Yes. Uh, so you had to leave your job and take this on full time? Yes, yeah, that was the, that was the decision that uh, his primary care physician through the VA and I uh, came to. And how difficult of a decision for you? I mean, it's life, it, it changes your life for everyone involved. You know, it wasn't that difficult of a decision. He's, you know, he's my husband and, mm -hmm. and my family, and right. just, there's, you just, just can't. What you, yeah, what you just do, what you do, I suppose, right? And when did this all happen? Uh, 2012. Okay. Um, so you went from nine to five in mm -hmm. an office back home, and yep. you're a mom to two young boys, so yes. you must have your hands full. I do, yes, yeah. But it's really, it's really nice um, that we're all at home together. My, you know, it's... It's challenging, but it's also just really rewarding that we can all be together and we've sure. had the opportunities to do a lot of things that a lot of families don't always get to do together. We get to travel a lot more and, and you know, see our family. And yeah, I'm sure. Um, and how does the Elizabeth Dole Foundation play a part of this? Um, well, it just, it, I wanted to do something more than just be my husband's caregiver and mm -hmm. spouse and my boy's mother. I wanted to get the word out there that there are people out there that are, that are taking care of uh, military and veterans who don't necessarily have a voice. Sure. I wanted to make, I wanted to get that, get, a, get the word out that everybody has a voice and you're not alone. And how could people help spreading that awareness about the foundation? Well, they can go to uh, elizabethdolefoundation.org, mm -hmm. um, but more locally, if they know someone who's a military or veteran caregiver, uh, if they're friends with someone or just know someone in the neighborhood, um, they can offer to drive their kids to and from soccer practice or I'm set sure up a meal helps, train. Right? right? Yeah. Any any extra support is is so welcome and so helpful. Good. Well, of course, uh, if you need to find more information, you could log on to ElizabethDoleFoundation.org. Megan, thanks so much for being here. And thank, thank you for, you for what having you do. me.